Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Hope you are all having a great day today. We are live on this fabulous Sunday evening. Nice to see you all, my friends. Welcome on in. Freaking Undissolved. Supersonic Mocking J. Schmibbles. Euthesria. Nate. Kicking Kevin. Nice to see you all. Hope you are all doing great. We are live. Froggy. Welcome on in. Nice to see you, my friend. We are live. We got some marbles already rocking and rolling down there on the bottom of the screen. We're going to be doing some Fall Guys here shortly. And it's a very, very exciting day because I was able to get the new doggo to calm down enough to the point where she is hanging out with me in my room right now. Ready for stream. Hold on. Hold on. There's the bigger... There's the bigger camera. So here's uh, here's Kaya, the doggo that you all know and love. And over here, laying down that is Shelby. That is the new doggo Shelby. She's chilling over here. I'll have you know that neither of them are using the dog bed. Ne neither of them wanted to use the dog bed. Uh, Kaya was using the dog bed and then she decided to get up and go over there. Uh, but Shelby is coming and laying down over here. So she is the sweetest thing. Love, love, love Shelby. She is, she is adorable. She is super sweet, super cuddly, super, super good dog. Same as Kaya. Kaya's still getting used to her a little bit, but they're not fighting. They're not growling with each other. They're just kind of learning how to live with each other. That's, that's the big thing. But, uh. Yeah, so Shelby is, she is, let's see, eight, almost eight years old, a little, yeah, almost eight years old, um, we got her as a rescue, she still has to learn some manners and stuff, uh, learn how to be a dog, learn how to hang out with each other, but I think it is, it is very, very, uh, it is very, very exciting. Wanted to sarcastically ask who the giant cat was, so that, uh, the, the cat, that's right there. It's on a pillow. That's my cat, Charlie. My mom got me a pillow with Charlie's face on it a while ago. So I have that over there in that corner of the room next to, like, my, my charging station and stuff that I have down there. But, yeah, Shelby is just chilling right there. Kai is just chilling right there. And they're both going to be napping and relaxing with us uh, while we stream tonight. It is very exciting. It is very, very exciting. How are we already out of stock? It wasn't used yet. What, the, um... Give Kaya a treat? Treats? Uh, it sh uh, actually, I need to turn that off. Um, so, Shelby doesn't really like treats, but she also... I don't want them fighting over food. So, if they're both in the same room, like right now, I will not give either of them a treat because Shelby's not super food motivated. But I don't want her getting jealous of Kaya um, and, and starting a fight. I don't think she would because a lot of times like I'll give Shelby a treat and she'll pick it up and basically immediately spit it out. Uh, but we've only had her a couple of days. I want to take it nice and easy. Go really slow with everything. That way she can settle in nicely and, and, and make sure that everybody's make sure that everybody is... Uh, uh, is, is being, uh, is being nice and calm, yeah. But speaking of, uh, actually, hold on, we should get Stream Raiders started first. We should get Stream Raiders started first. Let's go ahead and get this next battle going. Uh, you can join us, streamraiders.com slash t slash reachpat. No, it's actually good that you said that, MJ, because actually when you asked, the redemption was on, so I'm not sure, I think it was showing as out of stock for you because you came into the channel, like, before your client thought that I was live. Um, and I have it set so that you can't redeem it when I'm not live. Uh, lady does that treat she doesn't like example of carrot. Yeah, she's just not very food motivated. She'll be like pepperoni pizza. Yeah, so she... <sighs> I had my, my parents and my sister came over for the weekend and we ordered pizza. And we had the pizza in the kitchen and we were eating in the dining room. Shelby went into the kitchen grabbed a single slice of pizza out of the box and then came out and like didn't eat it just stared at us until i went over to try to get it from her then she scarfed it down in like two bites 
silly, 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 silly dog. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with her. But yeah, she's not super food motivated. She won't eat the food that we give her, but she wants my food. I don't get it. I don't get it. How's it going, Ghosty? Nice to see you, my friend. Hope you are doing well. Cute and sneaky like her? Yeah, no, she is. She is very, very sneaky indeed. Hey, the toast. Welcome on in. Marbles, fall, fall. Yeah, we gotta figure out what we're gonna say. Mar falls, fallbles. I like fallbles. Fallbles works. Hey, ferret, faucet. How's it going, my friend? Nice to see ya. Nice to see ya. Marble guys. Stream marble guys. I don't know. We got we got something. Um let's see who is around that wants to play. I know MJ wanted an invite. Nate, are you around? I can send you an invite. Uh, I see Froggy is also online. I'm not sure if Froggy wants to play. You're more than welcome to, if you would like. Fobbles is smooth on the tongue. Fobbles is cool. Yeah, Fobbles is nice. Okay, Frog is available. All right, sounds good. Speaking of Frog, she's not doing it right now, but she, she, um, you know how corgis sploot? Like, they'll stick their back legs out behind them. And just like lay down as long as possible. Shelby does that as well. So we've been calling her Frog Dog. Because she's acting like a frog all the time. It's very funny. It is very, very funny. Is anyone talking? I don't play... We typically don't play uh, with voice chat on it. That's what you're asking. Uh, next marble race is starting! Exclamation mark play. Frog pouch. Oh my gosh, Froggy, that's awesome. I love that. I love that. Uh, nothing in the pizza was harmful for dogs. It luckily it was just a um, it was just a pepperoni pizza, so she 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 could have it. Uh, I didn't want her to have it, but she could have it. You're nine thousand XP behind. You're catching up to me, MJ. Too much tomato sauce is bad for doggies. Single slice is okay, especially because her weight range is bigger. Yeah, she she just snatched it super super fast. Frog slippers. Do I have any frog stuff? Do I don't know if I have any frog stuff. Um, was it in the store or was it on the battle pass? How did you get the frog stuff? What you're muted? Ah, oh, that would do it. That would do it. How do you get? It's on the pass. Okay. Um. Did I just miss it? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, there it is. Frog pouch. Frog pouch. We got it. We got it. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Have you played Sweet Thieves yet? I have played a lot of Sweet Thieves. Yes, it is pretty fun. It is pretty fun. I've been getting pretty good. I, I actually played five or six rounds today and every single round i won whether i was the guardian or the thief it was it, it was nice i liked it i liked it yeah nate and i played when it first came out always a bit worrying when animals get to stuff yeah so i ended up having to move the box of pizza on top of the fridge because that was like the only place that she couldn't reach it um she was being very naughty but then, when, like I said, when we went to go give her her actual food, she wouldn't touch it. So I think part of the problem is that her uh, previous owners basically only gave her, um, like, table scraps and stuff from, like, their plates. Uh, which we really, really don't want to do. We want to get her on a regular eating schedule. We want to keep her... Um, eating healthy stuff, getting the right caloric intake, because we're she, she was never really exercised. Um, basically, every morning since we've got her so far, when she goes outside, she gets the zoomies like crazy, because she's not used to being out there. Whoa! Viridian Space Fox! Happy 21 months. It's my lucky number. I hope you're having an awesome day, and we are even closer to TwitchCon. Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for Viri coming on in with that 21-month resub? That's 
That's, what is that, 9 plus 10, Viri? That's a lot of months. Guys, can we get some hype? In the chat, Viri, thank you so much for another month of support, my friend. Enjoy the emotes, the ad-free viewing, the exclusive access to our subscribers-only Discord channel, and you don't even get a special subscriber place in my heart. You get a special place in my heart as being one of my OG friends on Twitch, Viri. I hope you are having an awesome day, my friend. Hey, Dinoishi, how's it going? Welcome on in. Ferret Fawcett, thank you for your help. Gonna use photos. Awesome, that sounds great. For those of you who don't know, Ferret Fawcett is actually starting to get into streaming and uh, into stream raiders as well. So go drop them a follow. I gotta go hang out with them sometime. Hold on, I'm trying to read chat here. I'm trying to read chat, but I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little preoccupied. Ah! No! Thought you said on one stream, uh, family gonna have chicken, not pizza. Uh, uh, well, we actually had both. We actually had both. So when my, uh, when they came up on... Ah! <laughs> I didn't mean to dive there. Uh, when they came up on Friday, I made the chicken. And then Saturday before my cousin's wedding, I made pizza- or I- I bought pizza. So, it was- we- we had both. We had both. Uh, gotta grab some food soon. Oh yes, go get some food. Go get some food. Go get some, uh... Go get some chicken or pizza. Froggy DC- NO, FROGGY! You just stopped by, got the notification. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Yeah, gotta take care of yourself for, first. That's the that's the main thing. I had sweet and sour chicken and a piece of chocolate cheesecake for dinner tonight. That was my that was my dinner. Uh alright, next marble race is getting going. Exclamation mark play. I don't know why that went twice. Think she might be malnourished in the past, being competitive for food. Well, okay, so here's the thing. I don't think... Uh, she doesn't fight with Kaya over food. She has never fought with Kaya. I just don't want them to start fighting. That's the big thing. I don't want them to start fighting. Uh, because she is still pretty new to the family. And she's kind of learning her way around. Um, I think the big thing is she's used to just getting fed constantly throughout the day. She's not used to being fed on a schedule. So it's kind of hard for her. Around our dinner time, we put out we put out food for her. Uh, we typically feed them at 7.30 in the morning, 4.30 at night. Or 4.30 in the afternoon, rather. Um, so she's still not used to that. So she didn't really eat much dinner tonight. Uh, but then she was, like, trying to get some of my food. And the big thing is, we can't give her our food because that's just not going to teach her to be on the schedule. So I have a feeling she's going to be hungry for breakfast tomorrow. Um, just because of that. But again, it's not really anything we could do. It's one of those things where it's a it's a tough uh, adjustment process, but it has to be done. Computer glitched out. No, Froggy. Still want to beat me with the pass. You probably will, MJ. You play you play a bit more than I do. I I typically only play during stream and then just when I'm uh, uh when I'm doing dailies and stuff. Yeah, even with you having to restart, I think you still have a bit of an advantage. Anyway, anyway. Uh, Dino Ishii, how have you been, my friend? It's been a little while. How are you? How is the family doing? Hope everything is well for you. It's always great to see you. I always have a hard time staying on that top path. The top path is significantly faster, but there's always so much chaos right at the start of the round that I always get bumped off and have to take the bottom path. Yes, you you're gonna lurk. All right, enjoy the lurk, my friend. Sorry, I'm just uh, scrolling up a little bit. I, I know I missed some chat earlier. Uh, Doggy eats a mix of scraps, also for doggy food. Grandpapa spoils sweet lady. Yeah, no, we spoil our dogs here for sure. We spoil our dogs here too. You have to, you know. You have to. 
I speak fluent in Fall Guys. Woo hoo hoo! <laughs> I feel like if I if I don't uh, if, if, I, I'm gonna sound more like Tigger if I keep doing that. Nate, this is family friendly. <laughs> uh, I like to start um, one jump, play dive, easy first section. Yeah, it really depends on how many people are around. Sound a bit like Mickey Mouse, maybe, maybe. I I haven't really practiced my my voice impressions lately. Ooh, it's the slime scraper. My arch nemesis. My arch nemesis. Let's see if I have any luck today. One finisher required. We got Nate. We got Nate. Nate's got this. All right. Is there a fan up top? Yes, there is. All right. Got to be careful. There is a fan up on the very last section. Don't want to get knocked off. Don't want to get knocked off. Oh, speaking of woo and woo 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 and all, all of the other assorted Fall Guys noises, we have new channel point redemptions. Check them out. Check them out. Very new. Very wow. You'll like them. You, you will like them or I keep your money. That's that's how things go. I, I, I don't offer refunds. I'm sorry. I don't offer refunds. There is a jinx in the chat, exclamation poke catch. Oh my gosh, whoever's making me do this is not helping. <laughs> right, the slime is in fact climbing, hence the name. Okay, we're all hanging in there so far. Hanging in there so far. Okay, this used to be the farthest I would ever make it. I'd always fall here. And apparently that is also what's going to happen right now. I had to say something. I was gonna say, right before I started this level, that the past three times that I've played Slime Climb, I have won it. And I thought it, and that was enough to make me fall. Anyway, it's okay. Nate, Nate's gonna win for us. Nate's gonna win for us. Uh, exclamation mark play in the chat. Next marble race is getting started. Get sabotaged. Thanks, ghosty. Thanks, ghosty. Hey, Kick and Kevin, congratulations on catching that jinx. Forcing me left? Mmm, rude. Very rude. That's alright. Like I said, as long as we got Nate, as long as we got Nate, that's all that matters. Uh, now just a heads up on marbles, by the way. I lowered the timer from two minutes to one minute between rounds because we are a little bit behind on XP. Uh, we need we need to get XP a little bit faster uh, if we want a chance to get all eight entries. So we need to get about a thousand XP per stream if we want uh, uh, if we want to get uh, entered into all of the giveaways. Whoa! Hey James, how's it going? Daniela! How's it going, Daniela? Howdy. Happy 21 months. OMG, it's been 21 How months. How has it been Which 21 months? 9 plus 10 months already. That's crazy. That's crazy. Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for Daniela coming on in with that 21 month resub? Thank you so much for the support, my friend. Enjoy another month of the emotes, the ad-free viewing, the access to our subscribers-only Discord channel, and of course, that special place you get right in my heart for being my first ever viewer on Twitch. Thank you so much, Daniela! Alright, I gotta focus here. I gotta focus here. Alright, these fruits are making it very bumpy. They need to see the special visitor. You do need to see the special visitor. I will turn on the special visitor camera here momentarily. Momentarily. Actually, I can do I can do that. So that's Kaya. That is Kaya. 
But if you turn the camera a little bit to the side, you can see Shelby. We got both the dogums. Oh no, I fell. I got distracted. I got distracted by the dogums. She heard, yeah, she knows her name. She knows her name. She's very, very good too. She'll come right when you call them. Yeah, distracted by the doggos. It's understandable, you know, if we if we lose this round, if we lose this round, it it, it it's it was for the doggos the whole time. Gonna call her B. We call her Zippy. Because she has so much energy and all she does is just zip around the yard like crazy. So there's Shelby right there. She's napping over there. And Kaya's over there. Are they Great Danes? No, they are giant schnauzers. They are like regular schnauzers, but very big. So Shelby is about 65 pounds. Kai is about 90 pounds. All right, we got to get Froggy back in here. Froggy, come back. Froggy, come back. Get the book. Oh, the book's, the book is, the book is over there. The book, the book is way over there. It's so far away. And the thing is, if I, if I stand up, Shelby's not going to calm back down. It took me a long time to get her calmed down enough to do this stream right now. So we're gonna, we're just gonna keep it nice and calm. Gonna be nice and quiet. Gonna be nice and relaxed. And we're gonna play some more marbles. Yeah, no, I, I don't want her to, uh, I don't want her to freak out because I'm never gonna be able to settle her down. Uh, next marble race is starting, exclamation mark play. Zombie KV, welcome on in. Beginning with Daniela's brain. Oh no, Daniela, your brain. Biggest advice for that round is staying towards the front and always moving. See, I should have stayed a little bit farther forward, but I was too busy hanging out with the doggos. Again, understandable. Don't need to outrun zombie, just need to outrun Daniela. <laughs> they are awesome doggos. They are. Wicked Weezy met them, or met Shelby for the first time uh, this weekend. It was very exciting. Very, very exciting. Couldn't tell. Oh, no worries, Ferret. No worries at all. No worries. Yeah, not very many people know about giant schnauzers, so that is that is completely okay. All right, next round is getting going here, and our marble race is getting going. 11 marbles in this race. Thank you so much for placing marbles on the racetrack. Like I said, we could use as much help as we can get on these marble races. The more marbles that are on the track, the more XP we get, which means that we can finish this pass faster. Shelby likes to play Frisbee and wear it. Yeah, we are playing Frisbee in the backyard, so we have a, a regular Frisbee and also one that's basically just a big ring. Um... And she grabbed the big ring one. Um, it, it fell around her neck. Uh, it was crazy. It was it was really funny. Really, really funny. She's so energetic. We took her for a long walk today. We took her for um, two long car rides today. We played in the yard for over an hour. And she was still, like, hyped up and super energetic. This dog definitely did not get exercise back at her old home. So I am very, very glad that uh, we were able to rescue her and take her in. Because she needed love and attention so bad. And she's getting it with us. We, we spoil our dogs rotten. Does she love walks as much as Kaya? She, yeah. Oh, yeah. She loves walks. The problem is she's not used to exercise because, again, her old owners never took her out. Like, they wouldn't even let her outside to go to the bathroom. And then they would complain that she would have accidents in the house all the time. It's like, of course she's going to have accidents if you never let her out. Uh, so she she's still trying to get in shape. Uh, she can't handle the long walks like we take Kaya. Uh, we typically take Kaya for about three, three and a half miles uh, a day. So far, we've been able to take Shelby for about a mile and a half. Uh, so she just needs to build up some muscle for it, you know? Next marble race is getting going. Exclamation mark play in the chat. But yeah, that'll that'll just come with, with exercise and training. But she does love being outside. Figured if there were mini schnauzers, it had to be big ones somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. 
no, they are they are definitely big. Kaya, like I said, is about 90 pounds. Uh, and Shelby's about 65. So Shelby is actually normal size. Hey, Deja Mew, welcome on in. But yeah, Shelby, Shelby is about normal size for giant schnauzer. Kaya is just huge. And she's not fat. She's not overweight. She is perfectly healthy. She just comes from a very, very bulky line of dogs. Like, both of her parents were, like, oversized, but not overweight. So Kaya just inherited those genetics, and she is, she is a tank. She is, she is a heckin' chonker, as, as the kids say. Mental gymnastics, some people will do to internally justify things that are their own fault completely baffles you. Yeah, yeah, no, she, so, the, the old owners told us she, she had accidents in the house, she would always, like, grab, like, shoes and, and, like, stuff and just tear everything up. Like, she's a big chewer. Um, she's always getting into things. Just a, a, a big troublemaker and they couldn't take care of her anymore. And I'm like, you know what the, you know why she's such a troublemaker? Oh my gosh, Undissolved, you blew everybody up. You blew everybody up. Freaking Undissolved, you killed the chat. You killed the chat, Undissolved. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, the, 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 <laughs> the reason why she's such a troublemaker is because she's not exercised. It's not that complicated. You want your dog to behave? You gotta exercise it. Giant schnauzers are working breeds. They need, they need a job. Kaya's job is going for walks. If you don't exercise your dog, they're gonna be destructive. They're animals. That's just what they do. It shouldn't be news. She's not fat, she's big bone. I mean, honestly, yeah. She is She is actually just big bone. That, that's really all she is. She She was a little chonky at one point, but we switched her food and she's, she's lost a few pounds. Nice to see you, Deja Mew. I'm glad Undissolved found the, uh, the new... The new channel point redemption. There's a few of them. There's a few of them that are that are. I'm, I I might have to adjust the uh, the the pricing on the on the channel point redemptions a little bit, but uh, I do like these. I do like these new channel point redemptions. Just like Australian shepherds, exactly, exactly. Because a lot of dogs were bred to be bred to be workers, and if you don't treat them like that, they're gonna act out. And it, they're not doing it to be to be naughty. They're not doing it just to mess with you. They're doing it because they don't know better and they're used to having a job. That's really all it is. That's really all it is. Why did that Why did that not Why did that not go through? Why did Why did that not go through? Um hold on. There we go. There we go. Kicking Kevin starting a battle royale. I'll have to redo the uh, the bomb uh, Uthestri. I'm not sure why that I'm not sure why that didn't go through. Congrats, kicking Kevin winning that marble race. Let's go ahead and get the next one going. Beginning to think your cat needs a job. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're any any animal with a with a, a hunting instinct, yeah. Uh, next marble race is getting going! Exclamation mark! Play. Shredded an entire box of Kleenex. Yeah, yeah. They the big thing with with animals too is it doesn't necessarily need to be physical exercise. It's mental a lot of times, too. Like with Kaya, every now and then, we just take her for a walk a different way. And even if it's a shorter walk, it's still better for her. Because there's a bunch of new smells, there's a bunch of new people, possibly new dogs in the neighborhood. So it's, it's a lot of mental stimulation as well. So... No! Oh! So exercise your dogs, exercise your cats, exercise your Coco. It's very important to keep your animals exercised. 
Hey, MJ winning the Battle Royale. Congrats on that. We can be easy making everybody dance. <laughs> Still love that humans didn't really domesticate cats, they just realized how many rodents our food stores attracted and moved in. Yeah, that's That's basically what happened. Animals are animals are smart. It's it's honestly insane how smart animals are. Alright, I'm gonna redo the bomb. Because that didn't go through before. This is from uh Euthesria. This is from Euthesria. So many bombs. So many bombs. Diesel's 18 months old, still very much a kitten at heart. Oh, that's very cute. That is very cute. I love kittens. I'm a sucker for kittens. I'm a sucker for puppies. I'm just a sucker in general. Both the dogs know. Both the dogs know I am a sucker for sure. I give them anything and everything they want. You like the dance? <laughs> I had to find like a short little sound clip I could play for that. So I just found some uh, generic copyright free dance music. All right, we just hit 4,000 XP, which means that we just unlocked another giveaway entry, which is very, very exciting. We are now entered into giveaway number five. Um, so we've been entered into giveaways for three different sets of... Um, uh, gaming gear for the community. We've also been entered into two giveaways for all expense paid trips to TwitchCon. This next giveaway, if we're able to get to, I think that says 6,000 XP, is a uh, custom built gaming PC for me and somebody in the community. So if we're able to get another. Uh, Able to get another 2,000 XP. Speaking of that, next Marvel race is getting going! Exclamation mark play in the chat. Oh, somebody already fell off. Who fell off? I see Nate. I think it was that MJ that fell off. I see Nate. I think that's Froggy right there. I think it was MJ that fell off. Uh, but yeah, so the next giveaway is for uh, the gaming PCs. The giveaway after that, if we're able to get giveaway number seven, that's going to be for $5,000 cash to split between me and the community. And then if we get the next giveaway, the eighth one, which is the last one, that is $10,000 in cash. Which would be absolutely insane. So we can definitely use as much help as we can get on these marble races. Exclamation mark, play! Uh, the internet has once again ruined my sense of humor. No longer hear the words fell off without my mind adding on plus L plus ratio. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... Internet humor is, like, it, it's weird to say. But, like, I definitely feel old when it comes to most internet humor nowadays. Like, the, uh, the, uh, um, Among Us meme... <laughs> Like, just the fact that Among Us is a meme is, like... Like, I don't get it. Like, it makes me feel very old that I'm starting to not understand humor. Alright, we got this Stream Raiders battle about to get going, so let's pull this up and make this happen very, very quickly before this next round of Fall Guys. We did qualify, though. It is Hexaring, so Nate's just gonna carry for us. Alright, 59 allies, 31 enemies. Good luck, everyone. Ha, Pat's old. Yeah. Well, it's weird thinking, like, I, uh... Not getting Among Us meme? That's kind of sus, not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. I'm being sus. Alright, we gotta get back to Fall Guys here. Sorry. Gotta do Hexa Ring. Oh, Froggy fell off already. It's so hard. If you don't get good footing right at the beginning, you just... It, it, it's so hard. And if you get caught up at all on this one specific round, you lose so easily. 
It's so hard. You gotta, you gotta get a really, really good start. And you gotta be really, really consistent. If you fall behind at all, you're toast. Toast my goats. I gotta start making my way downtown. Walking fast. Beans pass. And don't put me in the slime bound. Do -do 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 -do. Ah, see, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. It's hard when the speed is slow. I definitely agree with you there. Definitely agree with you there. Uh, King and Kevin get the bonus loot. Six gold going to everybody who participated in that battle. GG's. We're gonna get going on this next Stream Raiders battle right away. You all know the drill by now. You can join us over at StreamRaiders.com slash T slash ReachPet. Sign in with your Twitch account. Click and drag your troops onto the battlefield. You can place down a unit every five minutes and we'll get going in 30 minutes. Alright, Nate. The other person's coming your way. Just a heads up. Slowly making their way over. There's not a lot of stuff left in the middle. This is intense, my friends. This is intense. Oh, they're grabby. Grabby grabber. Oh, that's gonna cost them. That's gonna cost them. Can they stay on? No, Nate! Getting the win. GG's. Nice job, Nate. Carrying! Are you gonna be on for a bit? Need to eat something? Oh, yeah. I'll be on for probably two more hours. Karma. Indeed. Indeed. All right. First win of the night. Thank you, Nate, for carrying the team as always. All right. That just finished up our daily quests. And we just finished tier 72. That's what happens when you try to troll on Hexarank. Hexarank is so unforgiving. I'd say that Hexarank is probably the least forgiving of the final rounds. Um, either that or, like, the very original final. That one's also pretty unforgiving. Um, but yeah, Hexarank is very, very unforgiving. Hexagon, you got plenty of time to make it up. Uh, Thin Ice, you got plenty of time to make it up. The, the Jungle Dash one, that one, it's just all luck. Um, the hex ring is very unforgiving. All right, next race is getting started! Exclamation mark, play in the chat. Hi, Shelby. Shelby came to say hi. Oh my gosh, Shelby. Hi, hello. Hi, yes, hello. She's putting her head on my lap. On my lap. Jungle, I don't know what it's called, MJ. I don't remember. Fall Mountain, yes. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Does the original final even show up anymore? I haven't seen it in a very long time. Lost Temple. There you go. Yeah, I I, I, I knew it was a jungle one. I couldn't remember what the, the actual name was. I couldn't remember the actual name. Yeah, Shelby is just... Shelby is just right here. Right here. Right next to me. Hi. You've never played Lost Temple? I... Hi. Hi, yes. Hello. Yes, yes. I am giving you pets. Yes, hello. I am giving you pets. Oh, Kai is getting jealous. Kai is getting jealous. Yeah, I actually won Lost Temple the other day. I have never won that one before. I've never won um, Fall Mountain. Because I haven't played it in a very long time. And I won Lost Temple for the first time. I've never won any of the ones that you have to grab a crown at the very end until... Until just the other day. I was very excited when I lost, uh, or when I, when I won, uh, the temple. I just went a different way. And it ended up being the right way. I just got completely lucky right off the bat. And nobody else was even close to me. It was great. Very excited when I lost. I, I, I am very distracted right now. Okay, ghosty. Lost Temple being entirely RNG seems really annoying. Yeah. Yeah, just like the the gate crash uh, um, game. It's it's uh, very... A bit frustrating. 
Especially when most of the games leading up to it are all skill-based. And then you get down to the very end and it's just pure RNG. You just gotta pick the right door. Alright, I'm catching up a little bit, sorry. I got a little distracted at the very beginning. There was a dog attacking my leg for attention. You know, I wouldn't have it any other way, though. Alright, I caught all the way up. I caught all the way up. Why do some, so many people fall in some fruit? I don't think they understand the concept. Yeah, they don't, they don't get the objective. So they don't know what they have to do. And then they fall. Alright, Shelby has decided to leave me alone. She's over there now. It was very cute earlier. Uh, both of them were laying next to me in bed. I was watching some TV. Uh, Shelby is still scared of the basement. Uh, so we haven't really been able to go down and, and hang out in the basement and watch TV down there. Um, so we were watching TV upstairs, laying in bed. And both of them came up and they were napping with me. It was, it was very cute. Very, very cute. Um, don't all the minigames have brief blurbs saying exactly what to do? That Yeah, but... I don't know. I don't know. Some people just don't get it. Yeah, it says count the fruit. I mean, there's that and then, like, perfect match. I know some people get confused about, too. It's just a matter of experience, you know? Count the fruit, avoid the rising slime. Yep. Yeah. All right, next marble race, exclamation mark play. Exclamation mark play in the chat. Some fruit, never realize you need to look at the screen numbers. Yeah, it, 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 it just takes me getting used to it. Sometimes some fruit shows zero. Yeah, so you just gotta pick the fruit that, uh, Pick the fruit that doesn't show up at all. That that uh, threw me off at first too, but I, I very quickly realized it was just asking for the thing that wasn't there. Because that was really the only thing that made sense. We're gonna try to take this top path. No! Oh, I made it. I stayed. No, darn it! I made it almost all the way up on the top. Yeah, that is what zero means after all. What adds up to zero? Something that isn't there. All right, we're get, we have, we're having a good start to these couple of rounds so far. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make our way towards another crown very soon. I want to try blast ball. I've been getting better at blast ball. Can we have a woo-hoo-hoo -hoo from this game for a sound effect? We probably could, yeah, I can look it up. Throw that in the uh, suggestions channel on my Discord. Then no, I just assumed that it was standing in the panel the correct number of fruit. That would be really confusing if some fruit screen started throwing up things like minus three or I. <laughs> It'd be interesting if it said like, um, like banana plus apple and then there were numbers on the tiles instead of uh instead of the fruits that would make things really interesting they started putting i you'd immediately give up i mean you'd know that uh uh yeah yeah Ah, yes. Arithmetic. My one weakness. Alright. Roll it out. Or a simple 2 plus 3 in the fruit. Fruit shows. Or like, yeah, like, like uh, two fruits show up on a tile and you need to stand on the one that it matches. The thing is, the arithmetic itself isn't that hard. It's more so the fact... It's more so the fact that you only have a couple of seconds to make your decision. If you had like 10 seconds to figure it out, it would be much different than uh, um, how it currently is, with how short it is. 
Oh no, Nate! All right, now we gotta focus. Top five qualify, so the rest of us need to stay on if we can. Bounced off the platform, no! Yeah, sometimes these, uh, the collision on these, on these obstacles can be pretty springy. So you gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Got time to emote, though. Always gotta have time to emote. Never get so busy in life that you don't have time to emote. That is... That is Reach Pat's life lesson of the day. Always have time to emo. Always have time. Even if it's just a quick hawk. Even if it's just a quick hawk. Alright, GG's team. It's all fun and games until some fruit asks you to determine the integral from apple to banana of the sign pair times xdx. <laughs> yeah, that is when that is when Fall Guys stops getting players. Uh, there's also a Mincino in the chat! Exclamation Poke Catch! If you would like to try to catch that Mincino, next marble race is going! Exclamation mark Play in the chat. All right, tiptoe. Tiptoe it is. Void fake tiles and find the hidden paths to reach the finish line. See, that's pretty self-explanatory. I would say that is pretty self-explanatory. Tiptoe is easy, it's less far back when found. I mean... This is, I consider, this is considered a race round, but I consider it, uh, very luck-based. It is, it is absolutely luck-based, because if you don't time things right, then... Then you're, then you're out. Let's see? Gotta try to, gotta try to hit the hammer at the right time here. All RNG for sure. Oh. Okay, well, at least I landed on the platform up here. It wasn't the finish. Wasn't the finish, but I was close. For this one, never try to find the path yourself. Oh, yeah, that's what you have to do. You gotta let somebody do it for you, or else you're gonna... Or else you're gonna lose. That's why I like... I like it a lot more in squad and duos, because it's a lot more forgiving. It's very, very unforgiving when you're playing by yourself. Remember when I got my first crown on this stage? It's in the, uh, it's in the intro video. I fell off completely by accident, and I hit the hammer just at the right time, and it, uh, flung me right into the finish. I lucked out so hard. Alright, egg scramble. What's up, Shelby? What are you doing? Shelby's looking at the door. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. I might need to pause and let her out in a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we're yellow. We are indeed yellow. There's still a bunch in the middle, though, so we got some time. All right, we got a blue. We got blue in our in our uh, in our base. Get out of here, blue. Get out of here, blue. Oh, no, they stole our gold one. 
They stole our golden goose. Oh no, Froggy got DC'd. All right, hopefully we got this without Froggy. Hopefully we got this, we'll see, we'll see. All right, time to play defense. Time to play defense. Uh-oh. We're losing our golden boys. We're losing our gold boys. We need our gold boys. I'm just gonna chill down here. Chill down here and play defense. Gotta defend the gold boys. Gotta defend the gold boys. Yellow eggs for the yellow team. I want all of them. Wait, what happened to my mouse? What happened to my mouse? What happened to my- Oh, somebody's pushing me, that's why. I'm like, why is nothing happening? It's because I was being pushed. I got so confused. I got so confused. Cat wanted marbles rigged. Yep, rigged. Alright, on to the final. Uh, next marble race is starting! Exclamation mark play. Oh, Shelby has gone full on... Full on donut mode. Ooh, it's hexagon. It's hexagon! You see her right there. Full on... Full on donut dog. Full on donut dog. Silly girl. Silly, silly girl. Alright, Nate, you got this. You got this, Nate. Hexagon's the best again. Indeed, indeed. Donut dog. Yeah, so she she is frog dog. She is donut dog. She is she is all of the things. She is all of the things. She is also the best. Uh, but that's just a given. That is that is just a given. She has to be the best by default because she is a dog, and all dogs are the best, especially my dogs. Yeah, all dogs are the best. Yep, thank you. James knows what's up. James? James, James, you're a real one. That's 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 what the kids would say, right? You're 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 a real one, James. Uh-oh, MJ fell. Alright. I I my skill on Hexagon has been getting better, but I'm still not great. Still not great. So I I don't have faith in myself that I that I would have any chance of winning this. But who knows? Maybe I say that and I, I prove myself wrong. We'll see, we'll see. Uh fall intentionally to Maz, didn't make it this time. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, I don't see there's not very much. Not very much left down there on that bottom level. Alright, let's cut them off. No! Ah, oh, so close, so close. Oof. Oh, it's just the other squad left. Just the other squad left. Ah, that was close. That was very, very close. GGs. GGs. That was intense. That was intense. I just ran out of space. I just ran out of space. Six rounds. It feels like these shows are pretty long. Went the other direction, tried to conserve tiles, unfortunately missed the jump. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I do that quite often. You pulled a me. You pulled a me. Uh, I think that phrase is outdated by a few years. Not that it matters, since internet lingo goes in and out of date faster than Napoleon took over Europe. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just my go-to. I, I just say, as the kids say. 
I, I, most things that I say, as the kids say, the kids haven't said it in years. Years, I say. Gotta bring out the banana water top. That cursed skin. If it brings us a win, I will revoke my opinion. We need a, uh, you know what we need? We, we need a dance party to hype us up for this. Can't end up on uh, r slash fellow kids if you don't, if you acknowledge that you're out of touch. Exactly. I'm not out of touch, the kids are. It's the kids that are out of touch. All right, next round is gonna get started here in just a moment, and we have our good luck dance behind us to back us up. That is, that is the big thing here. We got our good luck dance to back us up. I didn't lose, I merely failed to win. Exactly. There's a quote from uh, Survivor that it's, uh... It's, it's something along those lines. It's, it, it's, it's... The, it, we didn't... I don't, I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm drawing a blank off the top of my head, but it's an iconic quote from Survivor, if you're familiar with the show. Uh, next marble race is getting going! Exclamation mark play in the chat. I might be able to look up a YouTube clip and play it on stream, because it's... it's funny. It's something along the lines of, like, you, you didn't win, we just lost. Alright, I'm not gonna try going over the middle, because I never have any luck going over the middle. Uh, well, that's what I get. That's what I get. We'll try the middle. We'll try the middle. Alright, that didn't work either. No! I got hit right at the end. I'm having the worst luck right now. All right, let's try it again. There we go. There we go. All right, here we go. Marble race getting going. 60 seconds on the clock. Let me see if I can find this survivor quote. Let's see, let's see. Um... No, I'm gonna have to look it up. I might have to put it in Discord later. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to find it off the top of my head. I'll have to put it in Discord later. I will find it though, I promise. Uh the merely failed to win line is from Oversimplified's video on the American Civil War in regards to how General McKellen retreated from Virginia after getting intimidated by a force of about ten thousand soldiers, despite his own force of about sixty thousand. There was a specific thing in Survivor Oh, that's what it was. They uh there was a specific rule in the challenge where you could not do this one specific thing. And if you did this thing, you would get disqualified and then the competition would resume with everybody else except you. And there was this one tribe that was winning, but then everybody on their tribe started doing the thing that they said not to do and getting disqualified. So the other tribe won because they didn't get disqualified. 
That's what it was. That's what it was. Because they were trying to blame the rules for the fact. They're like, they didn't win. We just lost. Trying to say that the other team didn't win from skill or anything like that. It was just because their team lost. Ah, yes, winning by default. The best way to win. I agree. I agree. What was the DQ? They just kicked you out of the round, so you couldn't, um... Oh, so it was a, it was a physical competition. Uh, if, if I'm remembering the competition right, it was a, it was a physical competition, but you were only allowed to, like, wrestle with other people in a specific spot. And if you tried to wrestle with people outside of that spot, you'd get disqualified. And there's the, the one tribe kept wrestling with people outside of that spot. Hey, welcome back, Viri. What'd you get for foods? What did you get for foods and can I have some? Both very important questions. Crispy chicken sandwich. Ooh. Yes, please. Please, please, please. I had sweet and sour chicken for dinner. It was very good. I just had it like... Let's see, Thursday? But I wanted it again, so I did get it again. There's a Dusk Noir in chat, exclamation poke catch. Yes, spaghetti. Ooh, nice. That's exciting. I do like me some spaghetti. Alright, next marble race is getting going in just a moment. Moving on to the factory. It's set up just like a How It's Made video. I love it. All right, here we go. 60 seconds, exclamation mark play in the chat. Uh, but what I was saying, speaking of food, I... I just recently rediscovered salami. So I've been a huge fan of sandwiches for a while, but I, I've always gotten just like plain old turkey sandwiches. That's been my go-to forever, just plain old turkey sandwiches. And then one day I was like, you know, I want to try something different. So I got, um, I got a, um, like a, a mixed Italian sandwich. So it's ham, salami, and capricola. It was so good. So since then, I whenever I go out to this one specific sandwich restaurant, I get the Italian combo sandwich, which is the spicy ham, salami, capricola. But if I make sandwiches myself, I always got um, peppered turkey. So just think it's it's turkey breast with a bunch of black pepper on it to give it a bunch of extra flavor, and it's really really good. Problem is that the pepper turkey that I get from this grocery store goes bad in like a day. Every single time, it would go bad so fast. So I got sick of it. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna try to make my own like Italian sandwiches. So I've been getting black forest ham and Genoa salami. And oh my gosh, it is so good. I didn't realize I've been missing out all this time. I have been missing out for sure. It is so good. I like that the Poke Catch and Marbles races are frequently timed at the same time. There's just one load of exclamation points. Yeah, that's the big thing with all the chat interactive stuff. There's so every now and then there's there's quite a bit going on. Uh, Genoa salami. See, I think I always got hard salami growing up, but I've been getting Genoa salami and I love it. Uh, Ghosty, congratulations on winning that brand new absolutely nothing. You are very lucky, my friend. Very, very lucky. Hard salami you love. See, I'm, I'm so used to hard salami. The Genoa salami is a nice change, and it, I, I love it. I, I think it's really good. Think of not watching Survivor. It's your favorite show. Someone showed you how they've been adding a rather diverse cast lately. Um, personally partial to peanut butter and honey sandwiches when it comes to lunch sandwiches. Peanut butter and honey. Interesting. Interesting. I have never had peanut butter and honey. Like I said, I've had peanut butter and fluff. I have had I have had peanut butter and fluff. I've, 
I don't like jelly, so I've never had peanut butter. Uh, I've had peanut butter and jelly, but I've never been a big fan. I don't. I, I just don't like fruit jellies. And marshmallow is not super good to have all the time, so I can understand why peanut butter and fluff isn't the best thing to have. All right, all right. Gotta start focusing. Gotta start focusing. Peanut butter and honey is quite good. I uh, also really like honey. I get a lot of, um, there's a lot of local uh, beekeepers around me. So I get a lot of uh, fresh local honey. Uh, and my fiance loves it. She makes hot tea a lot and she puts the honey in her tea for sweetness. She loves all of the fresh local honey that we get. Oh no, MJ! Alright, Stream Raiders is ready. We'll get that going in just a moment. Nate, no! I gotta gotta watch out. I'm not sure if any of these people are grabbers or not. All right, it's down to Froggy. It is down to Froggy. I uh, had an Italian sandwich, probably not nearly as good. Pepperoni, ham, salami, a slice of Colby Jack cheese on sandwich bread. See, I always get my sandwiches. I like them on hamburger buns. I feel like they're a lot softer that way, and they're really, really good. Come on, Froggy. You got this, Froggy. No! Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was so close. Uh, GG's. GG's. Uh, let's go ahead and get Stream Raiders started. Come on. Come on. There we go. That was very close. Yeah, literal frames. Ever recovered from, uh, full spin around the sweeper? I think Nate has. I think Nate has. They burnt your sandwich bun. No! Oh, I'm sorry, Barry. I'm sorry, Barry. All right, GG's everyone. Five gold going to everybody who participated in that battle. Congrats on that bonus loot. Let's go ahead and get this next battle started. You can join us, as always, by heading on over to streamraiders.com slash t slash reachpat. Sign in with your Twitch account. Click and drag your troops onto the battlefield. You can place down a troop every five minutes and in a half an hour, we will get going. For now, though, back to Fall Guys. Sorry, just responding to a message real quick. Let's go ahead and get this next marble race going. Congrats, Wicked Wheezy, on winning that. You join us in this next marble race with exclamation mark play in the chat. Exclamation mark play in the chat. All right, starting off with Tundra Run. I really think this is a missed opportunity for calling it, like, Trundra. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but I think it would be really fun. I think it would be really, really fun to call it trun Trundra. That could be peanut butter sandwich. We were just talking about sandwiches. Okay, here's the debate for the day. Are we talking about smooth? Or chunky peanut butter? And what brand? Uh, uh, 
Tundra. Tundra also works. I think that is that is significantly less of a mouthful. I will I will accept that amendment, Ghosty. Consider yourself unbopped. I will I will unbop you just this once. Smooth Jif. I like Skippy. I'm a smooth Skippy kind of guy. But lately, I've just actually been getting the the store brand because that's uh, it's cheaper, and it's just because it actually I I do have I do have a jar of Jif. That is a lie. So back um uh you, do you all know the the website Giphy? It's the site where you can get like a lot of gifts. So Giphy and Jif teamed up a while ago to do a limited edition run of peanut butter where on one side it says GIF peanut butter the other side it says GIF moving images so that you pronounce it correctly so I have that jar of peanut butter from that campaign and that is what I have been using lately go smooth Peter Pan peanut butter oh Peter Pan's good too buy roasted peanuts eat on the side ooh you're making me hungry James Another smooth Skippy fan? Hey, Nate and I are in agreement. Uh, got that. At least that's what thought you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> you remember this? I still have the jar in my pantry. I really didn't want to use it, but then there was a day that I was really, really craving peanut butter cookies, and I didn't have any other peanut butter other than that specific jar of Jif. So I was like, eh. I'm never going to be able to, like, sell it. For it being a limited edition thing. I'm just keeping it for the memories at this point. I'm just gonna use it. I can keep the jar afterwards and still have the label on it, but I might as well use the peanut butter before it goes bad. Why are we talking about peanut butter? Why not? Because peanut butter is good. No, uh, uh, Ferret Fawcett just said that they had a, uh, um, peanut butter sandwich. Uh, have you ever had a sun drop to drink? Sun drop. It sounds familiar. Sun drop. Sun drop. I might have. I might have. It does look familiar. Although I may be mixing it up with like Fresca. See, I haven't had soda in. Gosh, how long has it been? Almost. Let's see, it'll be seven years in September since I've had soda. That's crazy to think about. That is absolutely insane to think about that it's been so long since I've had soda. Does Brandon ever finish other people's sandwich- uh, sandwiches. Sentences. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm getting frozen in my head. We finish each other's sandwiches. Nate is just crushing it on these race rounds. Uh, because I thought you were going to say you had a jar of peanut butter in your pants. Um, I do not have a jar of peanut butter in my pants. I, I, I do not. Fun fact, drinking a Coke right now. See, I've had soda water, like seltzer water. But I haven't had soda in, in seven years. Next marble race is getting going! Exclamation mark play in the chat. Sipping on some Mountain Dew. See, I haven't had Mountain Dew in a very long time. Mountain Dew is always too sugary for me. Uh, Baja Blast, though, is solid. I, I, I do remember enjoying Baja Blast. I think Code Red was my favorite Mountain Dew, though. I just didn't really like the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the regular Mountain Dew. Don't mind dive a thousand times in survival modes. Hard to grab, thousand in teams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's every now and then they do a special show where it's just um um just team games. So I think the banana water costume. I, it could be. It could be. As much as I despise the banana water, if it gets us a crown, I will take a step back and acknowledge that banana water may be a good thing. Only sodas you ever liked are the ones like Fanta at this point. Default to regular fruit juice instead. See, okay, 
Is it Fanta or Fanta? I've called it both. I actually usually call it Fanta. I don't know why I just called it Fanta. I, I usually call it Fanta. Will I drink banana water? I probably will not drink banana water. Actually, my fiance had me buy bananas at the store today. I've never felt more betrayed. You're saying Fanta, Fanta? Okay. I mean, I guess Fanta makes sense. It does say fan. Yeah, banana water. Yeah. Barrett Fawcett's on the same page as me. I found out... I guess I, I should have known, but I I, I... I guess I forgot or something. But Kickin' Kevin also despises bananas. So... I knew I liked him for a reason. Might be because he's my dad. But I knew I liked him for a reason. He, he does not like bananas. Bante. Like bananas, wouldn't drink banana water. I agree. I agree, I wouldn't drink banana water even if I liked bananas. Death because he's my dad. Yeah. Uh, there is a Manetric in chat. Exclamation Poke Catch. If you'd like to try to catch that Manetric. Oh, I need to buy more Pokeballs. There we go. There we go. What about coconut? I've had coconut water before. I don't like straight up coconuts. But coconut water is pretty good. Actually, I was at a swim meet, uh, or a swim tournament, rather, when I was younger. And they had Vita Coco, um, coconut water, like, as one of the sponsors of the event. And there were a couple of people around the pool deck that were just giving out free coconut water to everybody. I drank so much coconut water that weekend, it was ridiculous. It tasted better because it was free, you know? They also had a, uh, they had a booth outside with, uh, Vineyard Vines, the clothing company, and they were giving out, um, they were giving out, uh, like, temporary tattoos with little whales on them, like the little logo. Oh. Such a good, such a good time. I had, I got so many of those tattoos. We literally walked out with, like, stacks of them. Um, and like all summer, we, we just had temporary whale tattoos all up and down our arms. Want to get a whole coconut and drink it? You're going to turn into like, uh, Mr. Psychowitz from Victorious. Got to be careful. He has, he has visions. All right. All right. Anybody ever watch Victorious? That was a decent show. That was a decent show. No! I got it. I got it. I don't got it. I don't got it. <laughs> yeah, it was all on... Oh my gosh. We glitched it. We broke it. We broke it. We broke the game. We broke the game. Thank you for the dance party, Wicked Wheezy. See, this is so much better with only one volleyball. <laughs> yeah, clip it. Clip it. Somebody clip it. Way after your time. See, it was on when I... Oh, it was on when I was younger. Oh, did the other one get unstuck? It was on when I was younger, but the whole thing was on Netflix. So my fiance and I, we rewatched the entire series. It is wild. It is, the show is wild. No, darn it. If I get banned, we have proof, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to the other one. All right, we just gotta not get scored on here. All right, we did it. We did it, GG's. That was crazy. Liked it for a bit, second season lost you. Yeah, it was an interesting show for sure. Pretty sure you're way older than me. Yeah, I am I, I am still a baby. I am still a baby. I Carly crossover episode. A classic. A classic. You unstuck it. Oh, you should have left it, MJ. 
I mean, we still won, so I can't complain too much. Can't complain too much. Oh, all right, moving on to fall ball. Pat is old, also a baby. Yeah, I am. I am right in the middle. Right in the middle. I'm an old baby. That's right. I think the cool thing about Twitch, like, we, we've talked about this a few times on stream, but, like, there's so many people here that I absolutely would never meet. IRL. Ba based on uh, age, geographic location, um, likes and interests. It's just the internet's a crazy place. It makes it so easy to network and meet people from all over the world. And that's what I like about being here. I, I, I find people that um, just enjoy the same games as me. And then we become really good friends, you know? Like you, exactly. Exactly. All right, we got 37 seconds to keep these two soccer balls on their half of the field. Most people you know nowadays you met online? Yeah, yep. Yeah, there's very few people here that I knew outside of outside of Twitch. Obviously my parents, obviously my sister, obviously my cousin. Um like hockey I knew from outside Twitch. But like we always talked and and we were in the same club, but we never really hung out or anything. Um so we've definitely hung out a lot more now that we know each other from Twitch, but like we won! GG's! Nice job, friends. Next marble race is starting! Exclamation mark play. One of your Twitch friends is moving close to where you live. Nice! Yeah, MJ doesn't live too far from me. Um, I know exactly where James goes to school because I almost went there. All right, let's get this next round started. Tis a small world, indeed, indeed. Yeah, I am very excited for TwitchCon coming up here. Coming up here three months. Three months from... Yeah, three months from today, I will actually be flying back from TwitchCon. So we got uh, a quarter of a year to go. Quarter of a year to go. Mail you a plush once? Yeah, I don't save anybody's addresses, so I don't remember exactly where you live, MJ, but I know the general vicinity of where you live. So excited. I am very, very excited for TwitchCon. I am, I am extremely excited to meet a ton of really, really cool people. Gonna attack you in a hug and then cry. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I am very, very excited to meet uh, meet a bunch of you at uh, meet a bunch of people at TwitchCon. I know Dogfish is gonna be there, and I am super excited to meet Dogfish. Uh, I I am really excited too. The uh, the Marbles devs are gonna be there. The uh, Stream Raiders devs are gonna be there. They're gonna have so many giveaways. It's ridiculous. I love free stuff. Um. Last TwitchCon, they gave out really, really cool Stream Raiders t-shirts, so I'm hoping that they have one. You already emailed Twitch about when tickets go live. So TwitchCon Amsterdam is happening very soon. I'm guessing that San Diego is going to go on sale right after Amsterdam finishes. That would be my theory, because they want to finish one at a time, you know. Wishing all the luck from the safety of your home. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting experience. Uh, I'm going to be in San Diego for five days. Um, I'm going to get the whole weekend convention pass, but I don't plan on spending all of my time at the convention. Um, I know that there's a few people that live in the area, and actually my best friend from college 
uh, lives like 20 minutes away from where um, the convention center is in San Diego. So we're going to meet up with him. I haven't seen him since he graduated college. He graduated, he graduated a year before me. Uh, it's in San Diego, California. San Diego, California. Didn't think Marbles was going to be there. I, I, I may have misspoke. I thought Marbles was going to be there, but I, I know for a fact Stream Raiders. That's probably what I'm thinking of. I think Enders. I, 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 when I said Marbles, I meant Enders. Don't think you have a car trip, buddy. You'll be chilling. Yeah, I'm not going to rent a car either. Luckily, my Airbnb is right on the trolley line. So we're going to uh, take a trolley from the airport to the Airbnb and then trolley from the Airbnb to the uh, convention center. I thought you said the studio wasn't. Yeah, that, that could be it. I know that um, I know that Enders is going to be there. I think that's what I was getting confused. No way then. Yeah. All right, the Reach Bot won the race, rigged. Let's get this next one going. We're making good progress on these marble races, my friends. Thank you all so much for helping out with these. We're at 4,500 XP. So we've got about 700 XP so far today. Got about 500 more to go. So I think if we stream another hour, we'll be close to where we need to be. We need to average 1,000 XP a day. Because we need 10,000 XP to get entries into all eight of the giveaways. Get yourself a 3D printed marble from him. I could do that. Is that what he's giving out? I actually have some uh, some stickers here. Do you all want to do you all want a sneak peek for what I'm giving away at TwitchCon? I got some I got some custom made stickers here. Just like that. I think they're pretty cool. I think they are pretty cool. So they're the normal Reach Pat uh, Tiger Head logo, but they got the uh, they got my name on it, so I can use them as a networking tool. Can we make it? Yeah, uh, yes, MJ. We should. Like I said, as long as we average a thousand a day, which we have been, we should be able to make it. Should be able to make it. It's gonna be close, but I might I might be able to do like a bonus stream or something to uh, to. Get a little extra XP, but I, I, I'm keeping track. I'm keeping track. Um, so I can make sure that I'm on pace. Try to get 10k points. You want to press the button? I like that press the button roll. We are doing so bad on this. Remember the, uh, er, uh, yeah, earlier today when we did this. Our squad just absolutely crushed it. Now we are struggling quite a bit. Collect stickers. So I have those stickers that I'm going to be giving away at TwitchCon. I also have a full sticker store. If you type exclamation stickers in the chat, you can check out. I have a bunch of my different emotes made as stickers that you can pick up. Uh, and they're pretty cheap. I have so many stickers. I really do. I was cleaning out my room. And I realized just how many stickers I have, and it's a bit insane. It's a, it's a, it's too big for one like box full of stickers. So I had to, I had to reorganize my sticker storage. Trade you a ferret keychain for pet stickers. Do you have a ferret keychain to give away? I also have reach pet keychains and pins, and plushies. Like I, I you can get. On my store, the official Reach Pat plushie. It is literally a stuffed Reach Pat doll. It is amazing. Might need to get a plushie IRL if you could Venmo Venmo ahead of time. I'll bring a couple and I can I can sign them. You know, that way you could have a Reach Pat signed stuffed Reach Pat a plushie. I gave one to Shelby, and she loves it. She loves playing with it.
Block party. Reach Pat plushie signed by the real Reach Pat. Indeed, indeed. All that and more can be yours for the low, low price of $50. That's how much my signature costs. If you pay $50 for a signature, I'll give you a free plushie. It's a steal! Uh, exclamation mark play in the chat next marble race. That was all a joke. That was, that, that was, that was a joke. Exclamation mark play in the chat next marble race is getting going, my friends. Trying to get some dives in. Trying to get some dives in. With the help with the uh, diving quest. Just ordered 50 keychains. Regular price 99 and sell for 39. Nice. Do you get them from uh, Sticker Mule? Or a different company? I get all of my stuff through Sticker Mule. The quality is just amazing. Thank you, whoever's helping me dive. I don't know who it is, but I appreciate it. There is a Tangela in chat, exclamation Pokecatch. Oh, that was you, Daniela. Thank you, Daniela. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Sticker Mule, nice. Yeah, I love, I love going through Sticker Mule. If anybody else wants any custom stickers, keychains, pins, not even my design, just for yourself. Uh, if you look in the panels right below the stream, uh, there is a sticker mule panel. And if you use my referral link, you can save some money. Get smothered by her laundry pile to full. I don't need to do laundry for once. I did laundry the day before Shelby got here. That way, uh, that way she, uh wouldn't eat up all my clothes because we didn't really know much about her before we got her um the 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 old owners told us that she was an absolute terror um but again she just needed to be exercised that's really all that was wrong with her she just she would misbehave because she didn't have an outlet for her energy but as soon as we started exercising her and treating her well she has been the sweetest dog You guys want to try a round of Sweet Thieves? Just like one to try it out. I haven't, I, 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 uh, we haven't done it yet on stream. We haven't played Sweet Thieves on stream in a very long time. Rock and Monkey stickers. I am not familiar with Rock and Monkey stickers. Nate's down for Sweet Thieves. MJ, Froggy, down for, okay. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Just one or two rounds. It's a little bit different. For those of you who don't know about Sweet Thieves, it's like a capture the flag type game. Uh, or like a cops and robbers type thing. So there's there's guardians and there's thieves. The thieves are trying to steal candy. And if they steal 12 pieces of candy, they win. Now, if the thieves walk super slow, they become completely invisible. But as soon as they start moving fast, the guardians can uh, see who they are. The guardians are trying to guard the candy. If they tag a thief or grab them, the thief goes to jail. Now, the guardians win if either three minutes pass or all eight thieves get put in jail at the same time. The thieves win if they steal 12 pieces of candy. It's really fun. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's a really, really fun game mode. Breezy! How's it going, my friend? Pressing the button. Goose! All right, right after this round, we will play the goose video. All right, next marble race is getting going! Exclamation mark play in the chat. How's it going, Breezy? Hope you are doing well, my friend. If anybody in the chat is not following our friend Breezy on it, please do yourself a favor and go drop her a follow. All right, so and now as a thief, if I press the Alt button, I get to walk slow. Still need dives? Not in this game mode. Not in this game mode specifically. 
Hey, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. I appreciate the support. All right, so you can keep keep an eye on those counters up top. You can see that there's a one out of eight thieves are in jail. And so far we have collected four candies. You sure? You can do whatever you want, Danielle. And that's why crowd control is there. Now there's a big red button right in the middle that anybody can press. And if they press that button, it'll let everybody out of jail. The thing is, when I say everybody can press it, I mean that everybody can press it. So I've played games earlier where like seven out of the eight thieves were in jail. But then one of the guardians accidentally pressed the button and let all the thieves go. Gotta be very careful. Gotta be very careful about that. Thank you for that hydration reminder. I'm going to take a sip of my... Decaffeinated iced tea. Alright, I think we got this, thieves. I think we got this, thieves. This wasn't even close. Oh my gosh. We just need to get one of these pieces in. There we go. There we go. GG's, everyone. GG's. Thieves win! Set up a camp with the button. That's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. All right, let's collect our rewards and then we will take a one minute BRB. You get a lot of crown shards or crown fragments, whatever they're called from this. It's nice. It is nice. All right, everybody. Uh, be right back. Just don't forget, when in doubt, blame it on the goose. Make sure you blame it on the goose, my friends. Blame it on my goose. All right, let's go ahead and get this Stream Raiders battle started. If you are here for Fall Guys, don't worry. We'll be back to that in just a moment. Stream Raiders is a game that we play between the games here on the channel. It is super fun, super free, and super addicting. To join us, all you need to do is go to streamraiders.com slash t slash reachpat and click, uh, click and drag troops onto the battlefield. We're also getting the next marble race going, exclamation mark play in the chat. How long has that been a thing? Uh, a week or two? It's relatively new. Oh, thank you for that hydration reminder, Froggy. I appreciate that. All right, one more enemy to go, and it is gone. GG's, my friends. Six gold goes to everybody who participated in that battle. Congratulations on that bonus loot. We're going to keep grinding along, heading on to this next battle. You can join us, streamraiders.com slash t slash reach pet. You can drag your troops onto the battlefield, and we'll get this started in 30 minutes. For now, though. Back to Fall Guys. You want to do another round of Sweet Thieves? I'm down for another round of Sweet Thieves if you all are. Hey, Bohemian Moon. How's it going, my friend? Nice to see you. Hope you are doing well. Oh my gosh, look at my season progress. I have 44,444 XP. 
four, 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 four. I love it. I love it. Can you play? We currently have all four spots uh, taken up. Uh, but if somebody drops out and you would like to play, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you can send a friend request on Epic. My name is Reach Pat. All right, it looks like our team, uh, we are guardians this time. So we got to grab all the thieves and put them in jail. Put them in jail. All right. First things first, got to grab all these blocks, pull them back so that the thieves can't get in. Oh my gosh, who's pulling me? Ah, that's not helping. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Capture the thief. Ah. Alright, y'all see what's kind of going on here? So there's these thieves that are trying to grab our candy, and I don't want them to grab my candy. So we gotta protect the home for as long as we can. Somebody's around here. Alright, we got all four candies over here. We gotta protect them. Oh, somebody's over here. So I'm just gonna keep my arms reaching out, trying to find these thieves and pulling them and grabbing them. All right, six of them are in jail. Somebody's over here. Oh no, there's a jailbreak. All right, they all just got out. We got two minutes left. Two minutes left to try to hold on. They've only gotten two candies so far, so we're in decent shape. Here's a thief coming around this way. It looks like there's a couple thieves. Oh, they're going this way. A ferret faucet winning that marble race. GG's. Alright, they broke out of jail again. They got four candies and they've got just over a minute to collect them all. Alright, somebody's coming around this backside here. They're coming. They're coming. I know it. I know it. All right, there's thieves around here. I see him grabbing my stuff and running away. Get back here! You need to pay for that. Right, there's somebody over there. You just gotta, just gotta protect uh, the button. Hey, nice job, team. Nice job, team. That is a victory for us. Nice defense, indeed. Nice defense, indeed. All right, next marble race. Exclamation mark play. Yeah, we only let them hit the button a couple of times. That was really good. That was really, really good, indeed. And another crown for me, GG's. All right, we can go back to regular squads. Playing anywhere on a tier? Yes. Yep. Nope. Yes, I'm uh, gonna try to get to tier eight. Um, that's why we're. That's why we're doing as many marble races as we have been. All right, let's get some more crowns. Let's get some more crowns. I don't consider sweet thieves wins like real wins. Because it's only one round and it's it's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. So we have we have two uh, we have two real wins so far tonight. Our record is four. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can uh, get at least one more. 
Do what you can to help. I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate the help. I might do one or two bonus streams as well, just to try to make sure we're getting all the uh, marble racing in. I'm actually enjoying it. It's nice to have it on in the background. I miss doing the chat interactive stuff, you know, because we used to do, uh, I haven't played Minecraft in so long. I was gonna say, we used to do, like, crowd control Minecraft. Uh, but we would do, like, regular marble streams, or, or stream arenas, or stream racer. So it's nice to have, like, a main game while also having something on in, in, in the background. That's why I like stream arenas, too. Or not stream arenas, stream, uh, stream avatars. Having the Pokemon on the bottom of the screen. Oh, Bohemian Moon, did you see the new, uh, did you see the new channel point redemptions? There's a couple new uh, channel point redemptions related to stream avatars. You'll like the, uh... Oh, I forgot what I called it. Not the explode one, but the other one is like bomb or nuke or something like that. Y you'll like that one. Have I tried Stream Pirates yet? I have not been invited uh, to play Stream Pirates yet. Uh, unfortunately, you need an invite code for Stream Pirates, and I do not have one. Uh, it's something that I would be interested in at least trying out, but I don't really think it would be kind of my thing. It requires a lot more attention than Stream Raiders does. The benefit of Stream Raiders is that it runs in the background, but Stream Pirates seems like it's going to be pretty hands-on. Bohemian Moon pressing the button. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Round and round the wheel goes where it lands. Pokemon cards. All right, all right, all right. Bohemian Moon, pick a number between 1 and 20. Pick a number between 1 and 20, and then I will open up that number, uh, or that pack of Pokemon cards. Not that number of Pokemon cards. If I said number of Pokemon cards and you picked 20, and I had to open up 20 pack of Pokemon cards, we'd be here for quite a while. Uh, eight. All right. Two, four, six, eight. What you got? Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Good choice. Good choice. I think there's a Growlithe in this set. But it'd be fun. I remember that one stream as a charity reward that I had to open up 36 packs of Pokemon cards in a row on stream, and it took us like an hour and a half. That was a fun time. Uh, exclamation mark play in the chat. Next marble race is getting going. Exclamation mark play. Did the thing not go off? Hello? Is my chat frozen? All right, I didn't see what the fruit was. I was too busy trying to make sure that my, my stream was working. Which one is it? Is it coconut? All right, I'm assuming it's coconut because that's where everybody else is going. Did my chat just die? Hello? Can't see anything. Hmm. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. One, two, three, four of those. One, two, three purples. Four reds, three purples. Four reds, three purples. Four reds, three purples. I think. All right, what do we got next? Banana, banana. One, two, three, four bananas. Three browns, four bananas, three browns, two purples. Four bananas, three browns, two purples. Four bananas, three browns, two purples. Four bananas, hey, we're already on bananas. Hey, GG's. G G's. All right. If people are chatting 
I cannot see anything, and I don't know why. I do not know why. Is this thing working? All right, apparently, apparently chat isn't working on my computer anymore. I don't know why. I have no clue why it is not working on my computer. I have tried multiple things, but it's not working. All right. What's a stream without technical difficulties? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, it works on my phone. But, like, I've tried to open up chat a couple of different ways on my computer, and it's not working. So, yeah, it's broken on stream. It's broken, uh... Alright, I'm gonna... That is... That's weird. That's really weird. Maybe it's just lagging. I don't know. I don't know. But again, what's a reach patch stream without technical difficulties? It's, I don't think I've ever had chat break on me before. Like, I've had my internet go out, and that wasn't very fun. But I don't think I've ever had chat just straight up break on me. And I think that's just what happened here. So, I apologize if I am a bit less receptive and responsive to chat. Because... I have to look at my phone for chat. And it's not as convenient as the nice big text on my monitor. Yeah, it's broken on the overlay as well. So for some reason, my computer is not getting any Twitch chat. And I don't know why. I do have one idea that I could try. Yeah, I'm just ignoring you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just ignoring you. Alright, a couple more bubbles and we got this. And one more. And GG's. Let me try this. It's gonna reload a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Test. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got it. It's working now. I don't know what happened, but we are now back up and running. I think. No active crowd control. Did my my internet must have just blipped for a second. That's really the only thing that I can think of that would do that would uh, that would cause that. But it's interesting though, because my my OBS does not show that I dropped any frames. So I'm a little confused as to why that could have happened. Crowd control's back now. Okay, yeah, I just turned it off and turned it back on. So that's probably... I think my internet must have just blipped. Alright, here we go. Let's try not to fall this time. Try not to fall this time. All right, gotta focus. Who's making me dive? Stay! Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I'm glad that crowd control is working. I'm glad that crowd control is working. That's the big thing. That's the big thing. I got it on for a reason. No, 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 that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That is the opposite of what I meant. That is, that is, no thank you. I don't know who did that, but that made me very nervous. Very nervous. Uh oh, Nate! Nate, come back! You can blame it on Ghosty. Do you major anxiety? I was being pushed. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. I was being pushed. You can? Yeah, sure. 
Why not, right? When in doubt, blame it on Ghosty. All right, 60 seconds on the clock, exclamation mark play. Exclamation mark play in the chat. See, I'll bop Ghosty for you. There we go. There we go. See? See, I'll, I'll, even, I'll even do it again, because Ghosty pushed me, too. We'll, we'll, we'll bop Ghosty again. Take that, Ghosty. You still have that button? Of course I still have that button. Why wouldn't I have that button? Ooh, it's Hexarang. All right, Nate. Your time to shine, my friend. Your time to shine. You're DC'd. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Here we go. Time to focus on the Hexaring. It's so easy to fall down a level because there's there's depth to all of the uh, depth to all these tiles. Who's sabotaging me on the final? Breaking the rules. Breaking the rules. Sabotaging me on the final. Not you? Hmm. It's kind of sus. It's kind of sus. No, it's all right. We got Nate. We got Nate. That's all that matters. Oh, no, Froggy. Was somebody crowd controlling you, too? I blame... I blame MJ. It's fine. It's fine. All right, I got some catching up to do. Got some catching up to do. Somehow I was able to recover from that. I don't know how. I don't know how, but I was able to recover from that. Nate, what happened? Didn't even fall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! I did fall. I I did fall. I don't know whether there are rules on crowd control. Suppose you have to study them to determine exactly which ones to break. You just save that? Huh. Well, that's all right. That's all right. We're just warming up anyway. It's not the end of the world. The Reach Bot's been winning a lot of these marble races. I, I, I'd say it's kind of rigged. I'd say it is kind of rigged that the Reach Bot is winning this many marble races. Breaking the law. All right, next marble race is getting going. Exclamation mark play in the chat. Yeah, I think as long as we get to 5,000 XP by the end of the stream today, we should be fine. We should be fine because there's still five streams left. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Can't start this next one yet. Can't start this next one yet. We gotta open up some Pokemon cards. Still gotta open up some Pokemon cards. Still get XP if someone runs out of energy. That I don't know. I really don't know much about how the uh, the energy system works. All right, so we got the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash pack. Prediction? No, it's okay, MJ. It's okay. If I had a hotkey for it, I would do it, but unfortunately it just takes it takes too long. It takes too long to set it up. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Four cards off the top. Starting off here with a psychic energy card. Followed by a Heliolisk. MJ pressing the button. We'll spin the wheel for you here just after we open up these Pokemon cards. Heliolisk is pretty cool. That's a cool card. We've got a Dublade. Followed by a Heracross. Then we've got a Hone Edge to go with our Dublade. A Timpole. A Vullaby. A Galarian Corsola. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. 
I forgot how sad Galarian Corsola is. Oh, poor Corsola. You got a Toxel. Toxel's cool. I like Toxel. Dead Coral. I know. It is so sad. Reverse Holographic Galarian Meowth. And last but not least, an Aegislash. Oh my gosh. We got that whole evolution line in a single pack. What are the odds? What are the odds? We got the whole evolutionary line in one pack. I don't think I have ever seen that before. That is really funny. That is really funny. All right, thank you for that. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Toxel is one of your favorites. Toxel is very, very cute. Very, very cute. Dog cam activated. Now we got Kaya. And we got Shelby. All right, I think we got time for one more round of Fall Guys, probably. And then we will wrap things up for the evening. Posted your clip of Hexaring in Discord? All right, I'll have to take a look at that after stream. I will take a look at that for sure, because that's weird if it just randomly said that you lost. All right, there's a Marowak in chat, exclamation poke catch. If you'd like to try to catch that Marowak. The night is still young. Unfortunately, I have work tomorrow. So, it's been nice having the entire week off, but I do have to go back to work like a real adult. It's sad, I know. But we will be live again tomorrow night with some more Fall Guys. Nate just vanished in that clip. I'm thinking what may have happened is uh, if, if there was some desync from the server... The server might have thought that you fell, even if you didn't. So then when your when your console caught up, it uh, or whatever your computer or your console caught up, it uh, it just said that you fell. I'm thinking it may be something to try to combat the um, like lag spiking that people do with um, like hexagon. Unfortunately, it negatively impacts the people who actually get real lag spikes um, instead of just the cheaters. But there's really no way to differentiate who's getting a lag spike on an accident versus who's getting a lag spike on purpose. That's my theory, at least. I could be way off base. But I think that would make sense. Do we get three more marble races? Keep your energy. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, we will definitely get enough. Uh, we will definitely get enough marble races in. Cause I always do marble races on the way out as well. Uh, as we are, as we are ending stream. All right, next race is getting going! Exclamation mark play in the chat! Yeah, I still don't super understand how marble energy works. It's just like, you have a certain number of energy so that you can't just play in a gazillion streams at once, right? But then if you do enough races with a certain streamer, you get your energy back. <laughs> Intentional lag spikes, wouldn't that result in DC given instability? Not necessarily. If you do it a certain way, the game still thinks you're there, but it doesn't make your character move. So you'll see in, like, Hexagon, if players are just, like, floating along the top of the screen, that means that they're lag switching. For every four, you get your energy back. You have a certain number every four refills. Gotcha. That makes sense. That way you can't just, like, write a bot script to uh, play on every single channel that's streaming marbles at once. just to get the extra XP. Why 
Why is that not working? Hmm. I'm very confused as to why the, uh, the bomb isn't working. There we go. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you, Bohemian Moon. I might just need to, uh, I might just need to restart the program. Because I did make some changes to it, so it might just not have saved or something. You can roll in three streamers all day, not zero out your energy. Interesting. Yeah, I never... Um, I have never been super, super big into marbles. I love playing it. But I've never been super hardcore on it. Like, I know, uh, I know some people get very hardcore, competitive, intense with marbles. This is actually probably the most marbles I've ever played in one season because of the, uh, the giveaways and stuff. Uh, plus all the MSLA races and stuff like that. I love the MSLA. Enders is such a cool guy. That's the, uh, for those of you who don't know, MSLA is the Marble Racing League that Bohemian Moon and I are on the same team for. Hey, Froggy and Nate doing pretty well. Carrying me. I am not doing too hot right now. I know with uh, Stream Arenas, they were talking about possibly doing a, an energy system of some sort. If there were problems with people uh, playing in too many streams at once. But I remember back when uh, I was trying to compete to be one of the top players in Stream Arenas for a season. I... Uh, there was one point I had 11 streams open at once. And I was playing stream arenas on all of them at the same time. It was crazy. So many streams. Four times three is 12 energy. Your energy is 13 at reset. Gotcha. That makes sense. Marbles on stream laps association. Indeed. Indeed. I'm still happy that I, I reached out to Enders. I remember... I remember back before I made the big MSLA spreadsheet, I, I messaged Bohemian Moon. I was like, you're more familiar with Enders than I am. Do you think he's a cool enough guy where if I reached out to him and was like, can I fix your spreadsheet? He'd be okay with it. Bohemian Moon was like, oh yeah, go go do it. Just like, tell him what you want to do. He'll probably say yes or at least try it out. So then I, I, I sent him a message and sure enough, he said, sure, and now they're using my spreadsheet. Actually, so fun fact. Uh, I, I, I'm not positive. I am not po I would have to talk to Enders to verify. Um, but I think another project that he had me work on, he had me add up everybody, everybody's... Marbles exp li lifetime marbles experience for streamers. He had me make a spreadsheet and add them up, so you can see how much XP you've gotten since marbles was first launched a few years ago. Oh no, we're being raided! We're being raided! Violin Psycho, welcome on in. How is it going? Arrow Toxic, welcome on in. Hello, hello. Violent Psycho, welcome on in. How was your stream, my friend? What were you up to this evening? Uh, Minecraft, nice. What were you doing in Minecraft? I was just talking about how I haven't done Minecraft in a while. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Reach Pat. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. Uh, lately, I have been playing a lot of Fall Guys. And when I say a lot of Fall Guys, I mean literally... I haven't streamed anything other than Fall Guys in, like, two weeks. Um, maybe longer than that. I don't know. Uh, but we also do a lot of Nintendo games and fun stuff like that here. Nice cozy vibes, chill times. We also got some marbles on stream going on in the bottom corner of the screen. Hope your stream went well, my friend. For those of you who know me but don't know Violent Psycho, Violent Psycho is actually one of my IRL coworkers. Uh, speaking of marbles, we're going to get that next marble race going. Exclamation mark play. Stream Mario Party. I don't count that because that was a special guest stream. That's not like a normal stream. 
Just downloaded Fall Guys. We have to play Violent Psycho. We'll like sneak out of work early one day. Just don't tell. Just don't tell our manager. And we'll be fine. We'll sneak out early to play some Fall Guys. I shouldn't say that because technically I'm like kind of Violent Psycho supervisor. So I shouldn't be encouraging her to leave work early with me to play Fall Guys, but you know. I'm sure I'm sure our manager would understand. Telling Shibbles you don't count her. Well, it was a special thing, you know? That was a special event stream. That wasn't the that wasn't the standard stream schedule. Can I encourage you as your legal advisor? Okay, okay. Yeah, my, my friend from the internet told me it's okay. I'm gonna go home early. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Stream Raiders. Oh my gosh, Shadow Walker, you exploded everybody. You made everybody explode, Shadow Walker. Luckily, we all come back. I was actually really nervous the first time I, uh... The first time I tried that out, that, like, the avatars wouldn't come back. But I'm glad they came back. How's it going, Shadow Walker? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, five gold going to everybody who participated in that battle. All right, this next Stream Raiders battle is going to be our final battle of the evening. So make sure you place down some troops near where the Morbies are. I didn't have time to place down the battle plans, but uh, you know the drill. You know the drill. Froggy on DC to get no. Poor Froggy. Poor Froggy. Ah! Kinky Plate, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I got LASIK on Thursday, and my eyes are still recovering a bit. But I'm feeling much better today than I was yesterday. So that's that's really good. That is that is very, very good. It, it's, it's wild being able to see without glasses. I've needed glasses since fifth grade. Oh, yeah, we all fell. Our whole squad fell. Unfortunately. Whoa! Aww. Arrow gifting a sub to uh, Raphael. Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for Arrow gifting out that sub? Thank you so much for the support, my friend. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you for coming on in. Now, I think we have time for... I think we have time for... Actually, before we, uh... We won't start up another... We won't start up another thing of Fall Guys here. We will come over to this scene. And I will turn off marbles. And I will turn this camera on instead. You can see... Right over here, we've got Kaya. This is my 12-year-old giant schnauzer. But in the back, right over there, you can see we've got Shelby, who is my new rescue dog that we just picked up literally on Wednesday. Literally on Wednesday. So we've only had her for a few days. She is the sweetest thing. Uh, we rescued her from a home. They weren't able to keep... Uh, they weren't able to care for her anymore. Um, they wouldn't let her out to go to the bathroom. They wouldn't uh, take her for walks. So she she just needed a lot of love, a lot of support. Um, and we're able to give it to her here. She is so happy here, and it's really, really nice to see uh, how happy she is. She gets along really, really well with Kaya. Um... Yeah, and I'm just, I am just thrilled that everything is, is working out. So she's just, she's just napping over there. Just napping over there. Kaya's napping over here. This is the first night that I've been able to get them both to uh, stay in here for streams. So that's uh, um, very, very exciting. How do you get the Pokemon again? So you get a Pokemon automatically, but if you want to change what Pokemon you are, type exclamation avatars, A-V-A-T-A-R-S. And then a space, and then the name of any Pokemon between Gen 1 and Gen 6. And that'll change your, uh, that'll change your, your Pokemon on there. Two doggos, indeed. Two doggos, indeed. 
Kai is getting comfy. Kai is getting comfy. How's it going, hockey? Nice to see you, my friend. Well, unfortunately, I am going to uh, also be wrapping things up here for the evening. It is getting late, and uh, I'm supposed to rest my eyes a bit before uh, before I go to bed after uh, using a computer for a while. So, we're going to wrap things up here for the evening. Yeah, I know. I feel bad with the raid just coming in. I really do appreciate it, but I need to get some sleep. I've been staying up way too late for my week off. Uh, I also need to make sure I can let the dogs out. I don't want Shelby having any accidents in the house. Um, cause she's still trying to get used to, uh, still trying to get used to us here, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll be live again tomorrow evening, 8 o'clock Eastern time, playing some more marbles, playing some more Fall Guys, playing some more Stream Raiders, and hopefully more Dog Cam. Uh, we'll also have those stream avatars going on on the bottom of the screen. Whoa! One more gift sub before you go. Thank you so much, my friend. Guys, can we get some more hype for Arrow? Gifting out another sub going to Tyrannosaurus West. Thank you so, so much for the support, my friend. We just met and you are so kind. You are so kind. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me and the community here. Uh, all the money that I get from streaming and stuff goes right back into getting new games and new, new content and stuff for the... Uh, the community so i really really do appreciate that i appreciate each and every single one of you for being here ferret faucet i appreciate you my friend and i appreciate everybody give your friend 53 gift subs to her wow that's a lot of gift subs that is a lot of gift subs i've probably gifted about that many subs but like over a long period of time that is very generous of you very very generous wait all right, I gotta get going though. I gotta get going. What's up, MJ? In return, she gave you Monster Hunter figures. Oh, that is exciting. That is exciting. Five subs today, Pokemon cards. Was that five subs today? I think that was four. Yeah, that was four. That was four. We can always do it next time, too. We can always we can always do another one next time. But yeah, that is going to wrap things up for the evening, my friends. Um, I will be live again tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern. More Fall Guys, more Marbles, more Stream Raiders. Speaking of Marbles, let's get one more Marble Race going. One more Marble Race going really, really quick. Uh, if you liked everything you saw tonight, make sure you drop a follow and turn on alert so you can get notified whenever we are going live. Uh, you can also join our Discord to stay up to date with all the fun stuff that we have going on. And I will be posting some more doggo pictures very, very soon. I've got some really cute ones of Kaya. Got some really cute ones of Shelby together with Kaya. Um, yeah, and then any announcements with schedule changes, stuff like that. Uh, stay up to date in there. Uh, we are going to go find somebody to raid. If you are subscribed, you can copy and paste. Let's do the know you raid. We haven't done that one in a little while. If you're subscribed, you can copy and paste that raid message. Just like that right there. If you're not subscribed, you got that second raid message. Oh, great. It's a reach pat raid. Uh, we are going to end stream with some KK slider music as we always do. Until next time, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic evening. And I will see you all again real, real soon. Bye, everybody!